Like, come on, how can women choose these type of men? There's another thing about like these men existing, which I have a problem with. But the worst part is why are women still choosing them? Like, what? Like, never in my life would I ever go for a type of person like Blueface. I don't even need to meet him. I don't even need to hear him say a word and I can tell his character. Like, really? Is that what you deserve, Christian? Ah! And I simply think it comes down to the fact that you haven't done enough work on yourself if you need a relationship. The problem also lies in when you think your relationship needs saving and you come in like Bob the Boulder and you start breaking down houses, beating up <laughs> doing all you can to keep a high value man. That is not ride or die, that is not real love, that is toxicity, that is attachment, that is needing something. Number one thing that is ruining your relationship is you. It's because you keep allowing disrespectful, narcissistic men in your life regardless they traumatize you, abuse you, use you for everything you've got and leave you with nothing. It really just blows my mind on how you can hate women because you came from a woman. Ride or die is actually a manipulation tactic narcissistic people use to trap you into a relationship with them. Once you validate the narcissist, the narcissist will keep coming to you for more supply. These type of people are truly ruthless. If you just find there's a lack of empathy for people or just situations in general, some of you are so blinded to the real reality of the modern day dating world that you don't realize how actually people do not respect their relationship, people do not respect their partner and it's actually disgusting. I absolutely hate when people attach high value men to rich men because if you have money that does not mean you're high value. High value simply means that you are able to provide value to other people. It does not mean just because you're rich and you have like 10 wives doesn't mean that you're a high value person. <laughs> no. And if you think that, if you think that money is what makes you high value, you are clearly a low value person. You are clearly a low value person if you think that money is what makes you high value. <laughs> is your partner controlling? Does your partner manipulate you? Does your partner gaslight you? Does your partner make you feel pathetic? Is your partner always controlling? Is your partner always complaining? Is this what you deserve? That's mine. Do you think you deserve all of that? Really? Really? The sign that you are dealing with a narcissist is that the narcissist will try to control you, the narcissist will try to gaslight you into thinking your reality is completely insane, making you feel like you're the crazy one. When you're in an unhealthy relationship, there will be a lack of boundaries. Just by looking at Blueface, you can literally tell he's a low quality man. Like what in the world makes you think that that man is goddamn high value? He will treat you well. Stop choosing athletes, stop choosing models if you're a three and thinking that oh they're gonna stay with you forever. Like please get real. Get real about the situation now. Really. Really. You think he's not gonna cheat on you. Get to know yourself. What do you like doing? What are three things that you are proud of that you accomplished this month? What are you so excited and passionate to do when you wake up? Like, what is your favorite thing to eat in the morning? You know, ask yourself questions. Get to know yourself. Date yourself. I love traveling solo. This is why like when I go out and I travel, I like to go by myself. I like to go to clubs by myself, go take myself on dates. People are always questioning me and saying like, why am I always alone? And I literally choose to be alone. You know, you have to ask yourself also the hard questions. What is draining you of energy? What makes you feel sad? Why do you feel anxious all the time? Why do you feel triggered? What triggers you? Get to know yourself because once you actually understand yourself, 
you become a better human being like in all aspects you understand yourself you're not always projecting you're not always feeling like people are attacking you you're not always so sensitive you're not always dealing with anxiety they are spreading bad messages about relationships and what relationships look like and i seriously don't want people to take that as an example because that is trash that is not ride or die that is not real love that is toxicity that is attachment that is needing something that is i want validation it's like them feeling a void because those types of people have a void that's why they keep chasing the money they keep chasing all of these things because they're looking for something is your choice at the end of the day whether or not you stick around with them i had to realize that i can't keep enabling the narcissist by keep questioning them by keep checking up on them by keep uh, seeing if they're alright and you know because narcissists feed on empaths people who are trying to do good people who have a light in them they feed on that good energy and they just steal that energy from you they literally steal that energy it's called an energy transfer oh there's literally like even walking among us like in the modern day world and people don't even understand the true extent of it because some people are just so so oblivious in whatever they got going on in their own world these are the same people that control and influence groups of people and everybody who supports blue face and all of this stuff is clearly not okay i do not support anyone i do not even have to google them i don't even care they do not deserve that <laughs> but um it all comes back to your childhood they clearly both have traumatic experiences that have led them to where they are right now and they both have to pause and take the time back to reflect and heal those parts those broken parts about themselves because right now it feels like maybe their life is moving so fast they can't keep up focus on your environment because if you're around narcissistic people who try and put you down and constantly make you feel small, you are never going to grow in that environment. So if you let a toxic person in your circle, they can literally ruin everything. They can literally ruin your life, like everything you have. Krishan is a perfect example of how she let him ruin her life. She let him. Krishan literally let him ruin her life and it seems like none of them are getting better and they're both just toxic ass people and they should stay far away from each other as possible take a break <laughs> go do something by yourself like why are you so attached to other people like you came here alone like why do you think you need to end up with anybody like doesn't even matter at the end of the day we're all gonna die one way or another like really that's the reality of the situation so you being like super romantic and super down for anybody is really going to ruin your life and your relationship with yourself so stop worrying about relationships with other people stop feeding narcissists stop people pleasing because you clearly have a problem with people pleasing and this is simply the biggest sign for you to go back into yourself and focus on yourself to not care about what other people are doing to not care about what other people have to say and get selfish focus on you a little bit more focus on your mindset focus on what you want where you want to go where you see yourself this is what's ruining your relationship is because you're not taking enough time to yourself you know stop talking to people just go ghost on everybody just leave the new year is coming up just like really reflect on what you want to do i respect the people who actually do the work on themselves after they take responsibility for whatever role they play they just accept what happened to them they stop playing this victim role i think it's so important and you go back into yourself and you heal yourself the relationships you have in your childhood will seriously be with you forever and you will subconsciously always re recreate those relationships so you have to be careful on what type of relationships you had when you were a child you know were your relationships loving kind supportive were people there to validate you because if not you might be searching for that validation from somewhere else you have so little power if you depend on a person they literally have control over your life they literally have control over you i don't think you should ever rely on somebody fully and be so attached and dependent on them 
I've really seen the effects on a narcissistic relationship and what it can do to everyone around you. He wants to do with you. How can you be with a man that humiliates you online and in front of everybody? How can you be with somebody who treats you like shit? As soon as I see a really big red flag or even a hint of narcissism, I'm out. I already checked out of that relationship. I know it's doomed. I know that I'm not going to try further with that person. What this really comes down to is trauma bonding. The reason you are so attached to this person is because you are bonding through your traumas. I don't know, it's another form of self-pity and self-sabotage and just deep insecurity. So, I mean, I've been able to look at my own personal relationships and really reflect on it like objectively like i'm not trying to be emotional about it or anything i'm really just trying to see it for what it is and be like okay with that information and move forward from there part of the problem is also because you think your relationship needs saving no this is the biggest sign for you to let that go and dump him look at the screen that's mine and, and, I, that, and, that's, and, that's, and that's what you're going to settle for. I'm going to stick beside him.